Gemini, welcome to January 2019 tarot reading. It's Rena here. Oh, I'm going to do this one as the heart of the matter. <laughs> Okay. So the heart of the matter is the Five of Swords. This is a card. I wouldn't be surprised if this card is even associated with you because you are um, the fifth month. And, uh, you know, May is the fifth month, and you your sign is air, and swords relate to air. But I think also, for the main reason that the five is, I think it's connected to Mercury, so that's your ruler. But anyway, you see that there are people in the background, and this person has kind of an expression of, uh, a smug expression. This can be a card of winning at any cost. doesn't have to be you though, but you could be involved in a situation like that. It's a card for sure of um, sometimes deception or slander where somebody is, somebody could be maybe even two-faced, um, being nice to you, to your face and behind your back. Um, that's when they're trashing you. So, because there are people in the background, this is perfect for a office uh, scenario. What do they call that? Like, I was going to say office drama, intrigue. And you may be feeling the sense of, who can I trust in this workplace? But it's possible that you don't know it at the time. That this is going on and you're unaware and um, so let's look at the the challenge card here. The challenge is the death card. Now, what that would suggest to me, <laughs> I love this one, um, is that that your job that it has run its course. Now, this could be a relationship too. I forgot to say that this could be a personal relationship, and it's run its course, and maybe for whatever reason, you think that there is still hope. And in the workplace situation, there's still hope. And yet, I would guess that this is not the first indication of something being awry, something not being quite right. And maybe you are not... Um, listening to your intuition. Maybe you are rationalizing it, intellectualizing it, instead of seeing it for what it is. The higher message is the high priestess. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Where you're not seeing, you're not tuning in, perhaps, and that there's something there. Uh, perhaps there, there are uh, secrets that are being kept, or something that is not on the surface and you have to tune into your higher self and understand that that um, that's how you will be able to uh, learn what is true and what's not true because with this person if this is a specific person this five of swords they can be very convincing And they may be the type of person who is very um, you know slick <laughs> I'm trying to think of another word I, I was saying I, I said before two-faced 
where they can convince people that they are telling the truth. And this could be like even in a love relationship where there are signs or there should be signs on your part that uh, this person is unfaithful, for instance, or something along those lines. And yet either you refuse to see it or it's, it's simply a matter of in general, if you haven't, if you don't... Um, meditate if you if you're not passive the, the 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 high priestess is a card of not taking action okay and you are a sign that tends to be more exterior i said tends to be there are always going to be gemini people who are highly intuitive and who do tune into life at a deeper level so please don't get that uh, confused I'm just saying that the archetype, the template for what Gemini represents is more um, very, you know, based on being an air sign, based on being a mutable sign, and just ruled by Mercury. That desire for change, restless, kind of jumping from here to there. But the High Priestess is about be still and know. Totally different vibe, you know? Sorry, <laughs> it's rush hour, so there's trains going by a lot. The, um, the more mundane perspective is the tower card. This can actually mean that whether or not you decide to do anything about a situation, that it will probably be done for you. If there is some um, person who's being deceptive, something will likely come out to expose that person. However, what I would say about that is that you don't want um, that type of situation because the tower card can indicate, even though that it, it uh, well, I was going to say can indicate there could be uh, chaos that ensues because a lot of things have pent up and there's a release, but there's going to be, there could be a lot of rubble. There could be a lot of um, stuff that is happening, um, you know, in the aftermath of such a kind of a cataclysmic event, if you will. And I'm just, I'm kind of exaggerating, but you know what I mean. Uh, let me try to give you an example. Let's say that somebody at work is... Um, you know, doing something, they're trying to ingratiate themselves with the the boss, and they are saying things that are untrue about you, and uh, they're telling the boss that you're doing all these things that you're not doing, and let's say the boss believes them, and the boss fires you, and then you're like, oh my god, and you scramble because you had no idea that you were being plotted against behind your back. And the boss levels all these charges against you. And you then you finally come out and you say, this is totally untrue. And I'm going to, I'm going to, if you do not believe me, I'm going to go to human resources because this is like, this person obviously is uh, trying to besmirch my name. And the, the boss, you know, and you, you give your side of the story and the boss realizes that the other person is uh, lying. Even if they take your side. The point is that it created this collapse. You know, the, the tower can be a collapse of whatever the order was. Okay, so as faulty as the order was in a situation like that where you have somebody who's actively plotting against you, albeit behind your back, things can never be the same, right? Because now you know that they are malicious. So in a situation like that, there is this aftermath that even if you get to keep this job, you know that things can never be the same. And that's what the death card represents. And same thing with a personal relationship. Um, 
if you, you know, this, for a personal relationship, it could be more like having proof. Maybe walking in and seeing your partner and somebody else together. And that that has to be that, that um, obvious thing that you can't deny. Now, even if that person begs you and says, I promise, I promise, chances are you're going to realize that it's over with. And you're not going to make excuses anymore because, again, with the death card in the challenge position, it suggests to me that there may have been other things that showed themselves to be obvious that something was wrong and maybe you just refused to see them. Um, what is coming in is represented by the Six of Swords. This is the card of leaving. Um leaving drama behind, you know, choosing peace, choosing a more peaceful environment. Uh, sometimes this can be physical relocation for some people. And um, so moving on, okay. And uh, interestingly, you have the same card I just got for Taurus as the outcome, the same card. Now this, again, might be a timing issue, but it could be, this is the, the star card. This could be a, a, a person, place, or thing, too. Uh, this connects with Aquarius, so that's why I was saying at the end of uh, January, the, the sun goes into Aquarius. But this card um, is about having, um, you know, healing, having that faith restored in life, so even though the Five of Swords and the Tower card can lead you to feel jaded and feel like, is this, is this how the average person operates? You know, can I trust people anymore? Something is happening to make you feel that, yes, I can. There's some, maybe there's some kind of a... Uh, an event, a job offer, some kind of thing that makes you um, have your hope restored in life. And uh, there's going to be a new moon in early February, like February 4th. Maybe that's timing where that's when life starts to get better. Because, of course, when the sun is in um an air sign like yours that forms a trine. So these periods of time tend to be very pleasant because uh, the trine is the easiest flowing energy. So maybe there's going to be better days ahead. And uh, so I hope that you enjoyed this, Gemini. And if you'd like a private reading, the link is below. Otherwise, have a blessed start to the new year. Bye.